everybody, this is just a quick post to show my entry into the Chevy Cheeseburger DJ Scratchy box stock build. Um, I've seen where Fast Jimmy's building the kit that I did last year in the box stock build, the uh, Malco Gasser, uh, which is a pretty cool kit to do as a box stock, I'll agree. Uh, I will say though, Jimmy, that kit does have a lot of chrome on it. Uh, I mean, the car does. It, there's The whole undercarriage is chrome, there's quite a bit of chrome. so. Uh, at first I thought there was too much myself, but it turned out that a lot of it was actually chrome. You can look in that book that comes with it, it shows you all that. But good luck with that. Um, I'm going to be doing the... I was trying to find something that maybe, you know, if there's going to be 150 people, it's going to be hard to find a kit that, like, other people aren't doing. I thought I'd try to find something a little different. The two kits that I thought of doing were older kits. Uh, one of them was an AMT. Uh, no, one of them was a monogram, one was a Ravel, actually. But they were older kits and they do need work. They were going to be, you know, take some, some work to do. And there's newer versions out of them, so. But I don't happen to have one of the newer ones. So I decided to pick this kit out of the stash. To me, uh, Love is 25. Um, pretty cool kit. It's a 120th scale. And I'll just um, show inside the kit. Here's what comes in the box. Uh, everything's still sealed uh, as far as inside. I took the plastic off the outside to look inside, but uh, anyway, uh, instructions, uh, decals that come with it. I'll have to get some yellow to match this, most likely, uh, for the tires or wheels. Uh, and I will probably have to. I may have some trouble getting the British Racing green, but I'm going to try to get that this week. Uh, there's the glass still packaged. These little nice vinyl tires. Uh, here's the body. It's in a green. I guess if worse comes to worse, I could just polish it, huh? <laughs> uh, but there's the most of the body, the cowling and everything. Uh, some of the darker components that are going to be, a lot of these are metal. Uh, poly caps. There's some chrome for suspension, shocks, a few other odds and ends. And then the main chassis and the engine components and the wheels, which have to be, uh, they're going to be tricky to paint. But uh, as you can see, everything's still in the plastic and still together. Uh, so that's going to be my entry. Uh, just a matter of making sure I can get the paint together before I get started. And uh, let's see. This should be fun build. You know, it's to me a kit, so it should go together pretty, pretty easily. I didn't want to. The other two kits I was looking at were going to take a lot of work to build, and a lot of cleanup and fit work. And I thought I would just try to try a different brand and something that's not quite possibly as common as some other people might think of doing. So. That's my entry.